it's currently 5 16 and i was having some like thrifting anxiety and i was like let me just get to the shop two hours before it opens to make sure that i'm first in line to make sure i can get the things that i saw on their facebook page so now um that's the moon it's still very much out and the gates aren't even open yet I guess I'm just gonna wait till they open. For some reason, I feel like I got here at like 5.30 before with my boyfriend's mom. But I don't know. Oh, but there's a car right behind me! So I guess it is good I got here this early. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So I guess it was good intuition to make sure I got here ASAP. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy that I'm here and it, they don't open for an hour and 43 minutes. But it'll be worth it as long as I can get those items I saw. At least this way I can sit in the car and wait because I was going to just sit outside the door in the cold. But since everyone has to wait behind me to get into the parking lot because the parking lot's not open yet, I feel like it's fine. I feel like it's going to open at 530 the gates basically this is like my city's um rummage sale so people in my town will donate items to this facility it's like a community center and then all of the proceeds go to different charities in my town or the surrounding area so at least all the money goes to a good cause and i can normally find really awesome finds here and they're always like very reasonably priced but i haven't been here in a few months so they might have increased the prices just like everywhere else so we will see they basically post um any items that they think would draw in um a crowd or buyers or shoppers or whatever on their facebook page and i saw that they posted this purse and then these nutcrackers and my dad loves nutcrackers so i want to try and get him one of those for christmas and i feel like I, I can say that and show them because i don't think he watches my youtube videos um and then there were these um magazines that i wanted to get just like one or something for my best friend's dad because he collects he, he collects a lot of things but he collects um magazines specifically this brand it's um sports illustrated and in their post there was like a huge like flat layout of them so i'm gonna try and get him one of those if i can find them yeah and they also do kind of like a bag deal where it's bag is like four dollars or something and then you can fill it with clothing as well unless there's special clothing that are priced differently so what i'm wearing i'm wearing my alchemy hoodie and my North Face puffer jacket. I have my headphones because I was assuming I was going to be sitting out there just like listening to music or on YouTube or something. Um, just this simple white headband probably from Target and then I have on my blue jeans and my mini Uggs. So that is the fit. I actually wore leggings underneath because I was like, oh, it's gonna be freezing. It's literally 55 out, so it's not freezing, but it's supposed to be like 40 something today, so it's gonna drop. Um, yeah. I thought I was gonna be exhausted, but I think I have like adrenaline or something because I feel like excited. And today I'm planning on taking you along with me because I wanna go to a few other thrift stores later in the day when things are actually open. So. I will bring you there. Probably we'll go to my favorite Goodwill and maybe even this like designer vintage shop, which is like not really thrifting, but it is still recycling, which I do think is a great thing to do because people will sell them. And even though it's like more expensive than, the, than just thrifting, it's way better than items just going to landfills, you know? Okay. I'll talk to you when something exciting happens. Bye. <laughs> they just opened the gate, so I'm gonna go stand up here. All the other cars are still waiting in their car, or all the other people are waiting in their cars, but I just felt 
pressured to come sit right next to the doors. Anyways, I'm just gonna sit here and go on YouTube, I think, or TikTok, one of the two. I'm actually glad that I wore multiple layers because it's kind of cold just sitting out here. Guys, I'm finally out and the sun has now risen. It was 100% worth going so early. I got so many awesome things and I got everything I was searching for. So let me give you a little mini haul. So this is the bag I got. And then this is, this is what we came here for. This was the purse that I really, really wanted to get. So freaking cute. I got these two magazines for my best friend's dad. I don't know if he likes them, but I know he collects those. And then this is the nutcracker that I got for my dad. So it's like a Chinese dragon and my dad loves like Chinese dragons and like samurai and things of that sort. So I thought that this was awesome. He also loves nutcrackers. I will give you a more in-depth haul of this bag later today. just got to Goodwill. I changed my outfit because I ended up going to breakfast. Just cute little red fit. But yeah, let's head into Goodwill and see if we can find anything. I'm finding my name on so many items today. Crazy. Just got these two jeans. Hopefully they fit because I can try them on, but I'll try them on at home and if not, I'll just return them, you know? This next shop is a resale shop, so everything's gonna be a little more expensive, but they have some really cool items, so let's go. I just can't myself apart. Oh. Alright guys, I'm finally back from all of the thrifting from today and I'm actually really tired and it's only like noon or 1 or something. Let me check. Yeah, so it's um 1.28 and I am about to take a nap after I film this. But let's go through everything I got today. Yay! We'll start off with the first place I went to which was the rummage sale. So let's get into it. I already showed you guys the magazines and the nutcracker and that's already put away with all of my gifts that i'm giving people but let's get into kind of the things that i got for myself so first off we've got this bag it's so cute like you're just shopping taking pictures i love it so cute and the only sign of wear is just a little bit on the straps but yes so cute i got this really oversized light pink hoodie it's just a light pink hoodie it's from Foot Locker and it has a cool gray hood i love pink it's got a small little stain right here but i think i can get it out next i got this sweater it's super soft it's just this color, tan, a nice clean casual sweater for every day. Then 
I got this sweatshirt. It's from American Eagle. I like the sleeves, the little ribbing, and I like the thick drawstring. The ribbing is also on the bottom, and I like how it's kind of cut open because I feel like this would be cute layered and like to have a really comfy outfit moment, but also it's giving kind of like beachy vibes too if you wanted to wear it during the summer because it's not too heavy. Next, this. You know when you get something and then you have minor thrifter's regret? Um, let me... Um, like, is it like cute coquette? Or is it grandma? I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, please let me know. Because I honestly don't know. Oh. I'm, I've been obsessing over bows lately, and look at these freaking pajamas. Isn't that so cute? Just bows everywhere. Oh my goodness. And then the matching pants. Oh, so cute. Love. I did get one last thing from the bag sale. And remember, everything that I just showed you from this bag it was and and some some other things that I didn't show because they're gifts. It was four dollars for everything. So here is the pattern on these. Just flowers. It kind of slightly reminded me of the Matilda Jerf pajamas just because of the colorway. I know that these are not fruit but I still thought that they were super cute. And here is the pajama top. So, so cute. Okay, so that is everything that I got. I spent a total of $24 or $21. I think it's 24. Um, yeah, so that was all from the rummage sale this morning. Now at Goodwill, normally I find a lot better items at this goodwill because it's my favorite but it just wasn't hitting the same today but that's okay because i don't need to spend that much money you know but i got these light wash lee jeans i really like the wash and i love these th little patches they look like they're gonna fit like they look like they are gonna like snatch me so we'll see and then i got these because i've been wanting a pair of dark wash jeans so i was so excited to see these and these they're just nice straight cut jeans um wild fable so they were from target i really hope that they fit because they look like they would be such a good winter dark jean oh so so cute and now the last thing was from sage style that little like resale shop and i got this abercrombie little mock neck shirt i like that it fit me a little bit larger as you saw when i tried it on in the store it wasn't like super skin tight especially on days where i'm like more bloated or i just want to be in a more breathable outfit like literally today i think this will be great because the other turtleneck i have is very like like tight so this will be a very nice comfy cozy piece and also really great for layering and just creating basic outfits because I've been into outfits that I can repeat the pieces because I used to be oh let me buy this for a photo let me buy this for an Instagram picture for an event blah blah, blah. and it's like I am not getting paid to be an influencer so I do not have the money to be spending outfits like I am an influencer so yeah um I'm trying to be a lot more sustainable that's why I really enjoy thrifting because you are repurposing an item that would have otherwise gone to a landfill and then just contaminated the area where someone in the world lives so yeah that's why i really love thrifting and also if you thrift some of the items that you get are going to be a lot better quality than items that you get from shein i know i know shein is so affordable it's so trendy you can get that cute dress that looks like the one that was like $50 at Urban Outfitters and you can get it for like seven. 
And yeah, and I get that. And I know that everyone can't afford to buy that $50 dress. And I know that the thrift store isn't always going to have that same style. But I mean, eventually they will because thrift stores are kind of overrun with um, Shein right now. So yeah, I don't know. I try, I don't shop Shein anymore for like multiple reasons. And that's just one of them because I had to write a 15 page paper about how fast fashion affects the environment last year. Um, so yeah, now I'm very much pro thrift, anti fast fashion as much as I can be. Cause like I still shop at H&M and Forever 21. And I know that those are literally not that much better, but yeah. Okay. End of short rant. Let me show you my other sweater. <laughs> This is um, the other sweater I got. I absolutely love this one. It I feel like it just fits so good. Like this looks so classy, so clean. It also has a similar little cut like that American Eagle one where it looks like slit. Like this, I'm seeing light jeans, even, yeah. I think light wash jeans, Uggs, like a cute scarf. Like, I, I don't know. I just see it with a lot of outfits. This also kind of gives me like sailor, like I'm on like a yacht. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. That was everything in my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. I had a really fun time recording this for you guys. And thanks for talking to me at um, five in the morning when I was literally sitting outside in the cold waiting for them to open the doors. But yeah, so thanks you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys